Ooh, my little girl, the internet about to be at your head messing with their faves. What's up, y'all? We got some drama coming up for the pre-RHOA premiere coming on Sunday. And girl, when I tell you Marlo is going around making headlines, she's making headlines. Is y'all ready to jost this right quick? Let's jost. Come on, Blazer. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Voodoo, back with a quick little jost. And we jostin' R-H-O-A, and especially and in particular, Miss Marlo Hampton. Now, listen, ever since Miss Marlo Hampton made it to the R-H-O-A and got her peach, because even before that, she was shaking up things and shaking the table. But ever since she got her peach, Miss Mamas has been bringing it. Now, look, love her, hate her. Say she get on your nerves, say she this, that, and the third, and she have a horrible mouth, and she does. But she is bringing the drama. Now, girl, I guess everybody's doing all their press tours and all of that for the show, you know. And Miss Mamas, Miss Marlo, that is, did an uh, interview with Sheree. Uh, on access.com. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is, but nevertheless, she did this interview with Sheree and they start talking about the show and giving like teasers and what's going to, you know, what's to come and what y'all should be waiting for and all that stuff. And one of the things she did was attack y'all face, girl, Miss Candy Burris, girl. Now listen, I know how y'all is behind Miss Candy. And I know y'all want to jump through the Twitter phone and, and jump on her neck. But I am here to ask as a fan who don't have a dog in this fight, let Marlo cook, y'all. I know Marlo gonna get on y'all nerves. Hell, she got on mine too last season. Papa but like Marlo cook, is cooking. Motorsport. Whether you like the way she's cooking or you like the taste of the food or not, this man is cooking. Like let her drag these things through the mud, y'all. Please need something of some substance coming off of Real Housewives of Potomac. This is what we need. Let me know. So I go click on the dog on trending button or whatever. And I see Miss Marlo and Miss Sheree went on this interview and baby Miss Marlo had a lot to say, girl. Miss Marlo went into depths of Candy always want to highlight the high points of her life, but she don't want to really spill no teas and tell us about the lows, but I'm here to bring that out. She also said that um, Candy don't be around her churn, you know what I'm saying? Because she be too busy chasing bags. She also said, um, basically, she using Martell, talking about uh, Kenya. King is using Martell for a storyline. Well, she alluded to that. And also her for a storyline, but she's bigger than her. Although she said uh, she's bigger, Kenya has to look down. I said, you know, that's that, uh, that's that foster home. You know what I'm saying? She don't understand the dynamics of looking up and looking down. But neither here nor there. She had a lot to say on it. We had Sheree over there gushing and gathering herself behind Martell about her love. And how she's enjoying dating. And on Martel's show, Martel's chasing his wife. Oh, Sheree. We gonna get to you. But I wanted to show y'all some of this footage of what I found so far. And um, I ain't like it. I mean, I like it as far as the drama because I need the tea. Because it has been really dry on the, um, the, the, the reality show streets. It's been really dry. But the fact that... Um, Sheree's over there gushing over Martel, and Martel is trying to get his family back in order and telling the people over there on the Love and Marriage Huntsville streets that it's very casual and it's nothing serious. Sheree, now I understand why you in a situation you in. Something is wrong with you. And Marlo, I'm here for the tease. I'm not going to tell you to stop it. I'm here for the tease. But anyway, let me get y'all into this little clip of what I found on Twitter of this interview that they both did and what they were talking about as far as what we can expect from the season and what's been going on during filming. I'm going to let y'all look at this clip. I'm going to come back whenever I need to. I feel like I need to put in my little two cents. And y'all just watch this, and I'll be right back. I don't want to In the trailer, Candy does say to you, Marlo. Mm -hmm. Trent, go cry now. The reason why I'm crying right now is because I can't show your ass, bitch. 
Oh, so violent. She's been saying all kind of body violence. Violence. She wants to headbutt oh people. Gosh. She wants to choke people. I'm like, come on, this freaky stuff is just going to. She's too. What do you call it when you want to be that um, freaky in, <laughs> in the dungeon? Oh, Whatever. Oh, oh, oh. What do you call it when you want to beat her? Maybe she wants to choke her like in the bedroom, like that. Oh, Lord. Like, the only reason she was crying is because she couldn't choke you. Yeah. That's, that's, that's bad. bad. That's, that's awful. That's what she said in the trailer. And also, that's all not the good. people saying stuff yeah. that they really wouldn't Wouldn't do. do. We've never seen you have a fight, girl, in your <laughs> life. And who's fighting in this age? It. Yeah, it's crazy. Let me jump in right quick. Listen, I'm not going to lie. They made points. Um, They are holding Candy accountable, and they are holding her to the fire. Now, as far as them saying Candy want to headbutt people and fight people at this big age, is that not the video I just put out when I was talking about Tommy? And, you know, I had some people get in my comments to tell me that it don't matter what age and all of this. And, and I'm figuring these are the type of people who don't do well in life. But neither here nor there. Like uh, Marlo said, girl, we ain't never seen you have a fight nowhere, no how. No, it, it ain't even documented. And the one we did have documented, from what I hear, they say Tiny had put the paws on her when it was over there by the doggone airport waiting on the bags. Now, that's just what I heard. Don't. I, I don't like candy. I don't dislike candy. I don't really care. But I'm just saying what I heard. I got to be fair. But, um. Yeah, at this big age, I'm with uh, Marlo. We don't have to be down there dragging and fighting and all of that, girl. We got bigger fish to fry and bigger bags to get. As we know, Candy is all about her bag. Now, do I think that it's right that they go on this press tour on Candy? Not really, but at the end of the day, they need to sell these doggone, the show to us. They need us to want to watch and see what's going on. And that's just what they're doing. And for a long time, I got to keep it real, Candy did not you know, have a lot of drama going on with her. Outside of Aunt Bertha, not, not Aunt Bertha, but uh, her mama not liking Tide, it really was kind of dry on Candy's side. So I think that it's good that we'll get this dog on T out of what's going on in Candy's house and all that. But I got a little more footage for y'all. Let me let y'all watch this right quick. So what happens with Candy this season then? You're going to see. She's just held accountable. Uh, no one's uh, worried about you being the longest housewife. You're on this platform. You deserve to give everyone your reality, and we're all making sure she gives y'all her reality, especially when like she's around we're us. Expected to. We're all expected to give our reality, the good, the bad, the ugly. Mm -hmm. And so why not? Yeah. Everyone needs to be held to the same standard. Yeah. So I don't see nothing wrong with them feeling like everybody needs to have their feet held to the fire and, you know, put through the ringer because as we all know, Marlo's story is a mess. We done seen that and how she done gave back the kids and took them back and all of that. Sheree's love life is a mess and she finally got she by Sheree off the ground 38 years later. We see everything going on with everybody else and Candy has been kind of just, you know, being the bone collector and kind of playing aside. So I think that it'll be cool to get a little bit into Candy's, you know, BS and have Candy ready to head but somebody i like you know i remember when mama joyce went by uh phaedra and said why did you hook her up with ty he short and he got a big old head and candy short got a big old head so that means to me that if candy head but you you might be out of there you know what i'm saying so i want to see candy ready to head but somebody you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm here for it i'm here for them getting her riled up and all of this now i do believe children are off limits but I do believe that uh, the other parts of it is okay. Yeah, let's get let's get some action going on. We got action. I, I want to see action. And again, this is for our entertainment. Uh, I know these girls not about to be dragged out fighting. You know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal. Well, it kind of could be, but it's not as bad. But what I'll say is this. I do think that it's right that Candy gets to be the one on the hot seat this season i mean she kind of was on it back and forth last season and marlo let me tell you this if you're gonna put candy on the hot seat this season don't be trying to beg her to be her friend afterwards you gotta pick a side and stay there okay marlo but absolutely yeah girl let's get into the tease because we're gonna drag sheree we're gonna drag drew we're gonna drag kenya we're gonna drag everybody so yeah why not add her to the dragon i'm here for it but they got a little more coming up so let me let y'all hear it. candy only wants to talk about Oh, I got this new movie. I secured this bag. My child did this or this or that. She only wants to brag about all the good stuff. It's like, hey, you have bad things that happen in your life as well. You have things that the world needs to know that everything's not always perfect. And it's okay. She did say in a recent interview that she felt like all the women came after her this oh, season. So she felt like me because there were a lot of alliances against me. Wouldn't yeah, you say? Well, this season? Yes. She felt exactly how I felt this season then. Well, I don't feel like anybody came to her. Uh, any. Anything was unwarranted. Mm -hmm. you know, any of the, you know, yeah, whatever. Or negativity she got toward her was definitely warranted. It wasn't just out of 
nowhere. No one. It wasn't like how they do me. Just pick on me. Then who's picking on you this season? A lot of them. You'll see it. Watch. Kind of the same as last season because people yeah. were picking on you last yeah, season. Yeah, no, they're really picking on me this season. I mean, don't, when you think. You agree? You'll see. Yeah, you'll see. You'll oh, see. You didn't <laughs> say too much. But it, you'll it, see. There's a lot of alliances. A lot. a lot of alliances. So I guess Marlo is trying to say that basically all Candy want to do is plug her products and her businesses and, you know, brag on Ace, you know, having followers on Instagram and Lil Blaze becoming a scientist at five years old. Listen, if Candy got exceptional churn, ain't nothing wrong with her putting her exceptional churn up there. OK, number one. Number two. Yes, people do have good and bad, but who wants to highlight the bad when they don't have to, Marlo? Come on now. We got to be strong and we got to be honest. Now, listen, do I believe that Marlo is right in saying that everybody needs to broadcast it? Yes, because that's the show we signed up for. Sorry. We all signed the same contracts. It was different numbers on the end of each, but it was the same contract saying you're going to share your likeness and what's going on. Good, bad, ugly, indifferent and all of that. So, yeah, Candy should, you know. Get the, get a little dragon in, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's good fun, you know? Now, like I said before, the kids are off limits, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Marlo then goes on to speak about how she was bullied and people had allies and formed alliances against her. I believe it because, Marlo, you are bipolar, and I'm just doggone diagnosing, diagnosing you my damn self. Something wrong with you. I can see them forming an alliance to get to your, get you together because you do the most. You do the most. You the same person kick everybody out your cabin and then turn around and want to be friends. Girl, ain't nobody got time for you, Marlo. Pick a side and stay there. Stay there, Marlo. But yeah, um, I think that is crazy that we even having this conversation. Um, and the girls is going up in arms on Twitter behind Candy because you know the Candy Ams. That's what I call them. But the Candy Ams don't play behind Miss Candy Burris. They really don't like that girl, but um, let me let y'all hear some more, girl, so we can get to the good part. Okay, you and Kenya did not see eye to eye last season. Is it the same? Absolutely, the yeah. same, the exact same, and we never probably will. Mm. Yeah, I'm a little taller than her. She has to look down at me. <laughs> <That's shady. laughs> Listen, I tried no. to get them together. I really, really tried. You did. Because I love both of them, and I right. really want them to be able to at least coexist. But I think I think you guys are better. I think you're um. I think, t to be honest with you, I mean, you're in a better family place. Family feud was the one time. But did you see I went to go give her a high five and she wouldn't give me a high five? No, I did not see that. Oh, yeah. Oh. You'll see. But I'm like, okay, girl, it's not that serious. Oh. What do you think her problem is with you this season? I don't know. Uh, with this season? No, it's been for years. Right, I know. But, like, is it Maybe. anything in particular this season? No, she just, I mean, she needed me as a storyline probably. But besides that, no, she loves me. She loves everything I do. She admires me, and she always talks about me. So I know she loves me. I'm a lovable girl. Okay, now I don't think Kenya needs you for a storyline, Marlo. I think that was a reach, but it was a good read while you were on TV doing your little interviews and whatnot. Uh, she don't need you for a storyline, but I do know Miss Kenya, the king or queen, I'm sorry, of reads, she will find something to drag you about and then drag you to the gutter. So I think that's really what this is when it comes to Kenya. Kenya just want to drag. And, you know, she's a good reader. She just wants to make you look and feel like crap. And let's not forget when you told that girl you understand why nobody don't want her because her mom don't want her. Remember you said that, Marlo? And I know you came from a place of empathy because you have empathized with your mom not wanting you. But that's not the hint or there. You know what you was doing when you said what you said. And Kenya ain't never let that go. And rightfully so. I wouldn't let it go neither. I would not let it go that you said something like that so harsh to me. Because, you know, y'all be been spanning back for uh, years. This ain't nothing new. There ain't nothing that happened. Just this doggone season or nothing. This has been something that's been going back and forth for years and years. So at the end of the day, I just feel like, you know, you coming at Kenya saying she needs you for a storyline or you taller than her, but she got to look down on you. Marlo, I'm going to need you to get it together again. Now, I want you to bring this drama and bring this tea, but I'm going to need you to really get yourself together and think about the things you're saying before you say it because you sound a damn fool. Kenya ain't using you for no damn storyline. Kenya is deflecting off of her husband and what's going on with Mr. Mark Daly. But, um... Or ex-husband that is but she's not using it for no storyline she's just doing what she always does which makes her reality tv go and that's just drag and dig as she should but let's move on girl we got a little bit more <laughs> drew and ralph they oh split. yeah that's bad were you yeah. guys shocked when you heard this we were okay we were shocked i was shocked that 
they filed for divorce immediately after so they we, uh, started stopped filming. filming. Stop filming. Any, stop filming. Because I didn't think anything, you know, we thought they were fine. I thought they were fine. She had just thrown them a party. Yeah. No. I mean, they looked like they were fine in front of us. But I do know, being an OG, that sometimes, you know, people come on and they're not really showing their entire truth life and their entire uh, reality. Story, their reality, mm -hmm. you know? So apparently. I, but I it always know, comes out eventually. Like yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it did. The first season, I understood. I would have thought they would have got a divorce after that season. Yeah. So the second, we're like, oh, they're doing good. He's respecting her on the reunion. He mm -hmm. apologized. Mm -hmm. As soon as we wrapped, hey, Drew and Rob is racing to the courthouse. We're like, what the hell? Like, we didn't see that coming that fast. We did not. I'm like, huh? A divorce? So that was not good, though. But we don't want to see divorce for anyone. Yeah, we don't want to yeah. wish that for anybody. Yeah. Girl, the only two believed in Drew and Ralph's marriage was Drew. Probably not even Ralph. Girl, listen, we already knew this was coming. And I'm of the belief that it may be fake at this point. But at the end of the day, he's always disrespected Drew on online and on TV. That's been, a you know, a number one thing that he's done. Nobody's surprised that this uh, happens like this. We've seen the few seasons they've been on here. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of Drew. I really, Drew could really go and I'd be all right. I wouldn't miss him. To be completely honest, she could really go and nobody would miss her. Her and Ralph with their fake storylines. Girl, ain't nobody here for that shit. Ain't nobody trying to hear all that. But anyways, um, I know y'all said y'all was doggone surprised. And Marlo, you sent texts and all that to all these people. Girl, we don't care. Nevertheless, the interview goes on to talk about them and their fake dating lives. Uh, Sheree's in love with a man who's in love with his wife. And Marlo apparently went on a blind date with somebody or went on a date with somebody. And she said she in love too, girl. We don't know what's going on. We're going to see what happens when we get in this doggone episode. I mean, get into these doggone episodes of this season. Because I am very, very intrigued in trying to see what the hell happened. So just when you think Marlo has done enough dragging, she goes on McDonald's, Heather McDonald's Juicy Scoop podcast, and she has more dragging to do when it comes to Miss Burris. Miss Candy, she has more dragging. So she did an interview with her, and I'll read it to you. It says, Marlo appeared on Heather McDonald's Juicy Scoop podcast, where she shared a bit of insight on Candy Burris parenting, stating that the busy leader of the Candy Coated clique rarely has time to raise her kids. Quote, she's never with her kids 24-7. She's too busy trying to get another bag. She doesn't have time to spend quality time with her kids. Now, I ain't going to lie. Two things could be true at the same time and exist. Number one, it's wrong for her to mention her being a mother to her kids because men do it all the time and nobody have nothing to say. Although it's wrong on that end as well, men go chase bags and nobody have nothing to say when they ain't hardly there with their churn. However, comma... I'm going to stop her when she started lying. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Y I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that Candy don't have time with her kids because I ain't in her house. But what I will say is Candy be gone. We all know Todd is Mr. Mom. Y'all stop acting crazy. I know the, the candy coated, the candy yams going to come at my neck for this. And, you know, I apologize in, you know, in, 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 in the beginning, but at the end of the day, where she be at with them churn. Now, again, I'm not judging her kids. This has nothing to do with her children. This is just basically Marlo's dig at her. And I'm just saying, stop me when she starts lying or stop her when she starts lying. Listen, y'all, what y'all not about to do, you know, the candy yams is get up on here and gaslight me. As if to say anybody has that has anything to say negative about Miss Candy Yams is automatically hating. I don't hate Candy. I don't know Candy. I'm commenting on Candy just like we commented on Pancake. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here trying to be unbiased and, and be honest. You know what I'm saying? With how I feel. And at the end of the day, there's no end to the dragon. We all know how this goes on reality TV. I know people say kids are off limits and families are off limits. But at the end of the day, they have never been off limits never like never name one show where the kids and the family was off limits and if you find that show please put it down in the comments because i would like to go watch that show where nobody was ever able to question somebody's parenting the way they're handling or dealing with their kids or anything of the sort of the sort I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's okay. But what I am saying is this is the norm. And because it's the norm in this nasty TV world that we're in, you know what I mean? That's just what it is. So Marlo, you dragging girl, the, the internet is going to drag you up and down the streets and y'all probably going to drag me too. But at the end of the day, girl, I know that the internet is not real life. You get it? Like when I log out, 
it, I'm not in this world no more. It's it's not real life for me. So I'm going to say what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? I done got popped in my mouth many times as a child because I had to say what I had to say regardless of the consequences. So nevertheless, I, again, I don't hate candy. I don't have no, no issues with candy. Candy is all right with me. Um, but I got to call Candy down to the red carpet when I feel like Candy need to be called down. Now, do I think Marlo's, uh, drag tour is appropriate? Yes, because we need some kind of drama to get us into the season, period. But do I think personally, you know, Candy might feel us away, away about it? I'm sorry. Yeah, probably. I mean, wouldn't you? I know I would. I would feel some type of way if somebody attacking my parenting in the news and in the media and all of that stuff. But I mean, this is what we signed up for, right? Y'all let me know if I'm tripping. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know what y'all think about Marlo taking candy on the dragon tour, girl. Um, you know, the, I, I guess I'm just waiting for the doggone episode to air, you know, on Sunday night, child. I'm going to have my popcorn and everything ready so I can watch. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Drag me if that's what you're going to do. But you got to know this, fat. Stink of fat. When I log out. This ain't real life. You get it? But anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on TikTok, and I'll see y'all who's later. Bye. Bye. Mr. Carroll, how you give the voodoo doll time to talk? I don't get no fucking time to talk. Who the voodoo doll is? The nigga you just had up here.